Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate or better known as AZ104 is a role-based certification that validates your ability to implement, manage and monitor the Azure cloud solutions. A certificate that almost all who wants to professionally work on Azure wish to acquire. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard and this is our latest AZ104 exam preparation series targeting the exams in 2024 where we will prepare using real exam like questions. So let's get started. So let's begin the part 21 with question number 131. Now here to start with, you can see some instructions here. The crux of these instructions is that in these kind of questions, you will get multiple questions with different solution. And of course you have to pick the right solution. Normally you will get three questions in each set, but based on my research, I have collected more variations of these kind of questions because you know, Microsoft is a pool of questions. So it's not like that they just have three variations of these kind of questions. They have multiple pool of questions and you get some question, maybe your friend get different set of questions. So that's why I keep collecting lot of variations of these kind of questions. Now we have done lot of talking. Let's read the question. Question says that you have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs on Windows Server 2016. Now you need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system. Event log on virtual machine within one hour. Now the solution given is that you create an Azure storage account and configure shared access signatures, which is also known as SAS. And you install the Microsoft monitoring agent on virtual machine one. You create an alert in Azure monitor and specify the storage account as the source. Now does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And friends, this solution is not the correct solution. That's why no is the correct answer. Now in case you're wondering what is the correct solution, I have taken three more variations of this question in the previous part 20. So please do check out that part. But for now, let's move on to the next question. Question number 132. Here also the instructions are same. Let's read the question. Question is saying that you have have an Azure virtual machine named VM1. Now the VM1 was deployed by using custom Azure resource manager template name arm1.json and you receive a notification that VM1 will be affected by the maintenance and you need to move the VM1 to a different host immediately. The solution given here is that from the overview blade, you move the virtual machine to a different subscription. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And this solution given here is not the correct solution. That's why no is the correct answer. So here comes the second variation of the same question. Question number 133. The question exactly is the same. Let's read the solution. Solution is saying that from the redeploy blade, you click redeploy. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And yes, my friends, this is the correct solution. That's why yes is the correct answer. And just so you understand, when you redeploy a virtual machine, it moves the virtual machine to a new node within the Azure infrastructure and then powers it back on. And this retains all your configuration options and associative resources. And you can use the Azure portal, select your virtual machine that you wish to deploy and then select the redeploy button in the settings blade. And I'm sure you want to see this in practical. Let me show you the Microsoft documentation. And here's the documentation to understand how to redeploy Windows virtual machine to a new Azure node. Here you can understand all about moving the machine. You can use Azure CLI. You can also use Azure PowerShell. Of course, you can do it with the Azure portal. Here you can see all the steps and this will validate our answer as well. Here you can see that we have redeploy. You can see that redeploy here on the left hand side blade. Here you can see that. I hope you can see that if possible. Let me just zoom it a little. Here you can see redeploy plus reapply. And then once you click on this, you will get these kind of questions on the right hand side of the screen. Here you can see that. And then my friends on the same documentation, you can understand the next steps and you can also connect with Microsoft, get their help to move the virtual machine to a new Azure node in case the need arises. And of course, as always, the links to all the documentation is right there in the description box. So those were two variations of the same question, but I've got one more and here it comes. Question number 134 question exactly the same. Let's read the solution. Solution is saying that from the update management blade, you click the enable. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And of course, as we saw, this is not the correct solution. The previous one, question number 133 presented the correct solution. So that's why no is the correct answer. 
Moving on with the question number 135, the question is saying that your company has an Azure subscription that includes a recovery services vault and you want to use the Azure backup to schedule a backup of your company's virtual machine to the recovery services vault. Which of the following virtual machines you can backup? Choose all that apply. Your options are virtual machines that run on Windows 10. Then we have option B virtual machines that run on Windows Server 2012 or higher. Option number C, virtual machine that have not been shut down. Option D, virtual machine that run on Debian 8.2 plus. And lastly, virtual machine that have been shut down. So which of the following do you think you can use Azure backup to schedule the backup of all your virtual machine? Now pause the video for a second, think for it and let me know the answer in the comment section. So could you guess the answer? Well, the very first correction is option A and the second correct option is option B. Then we have option C, option D and option E. Now you might be scratching your head and thinking, well, all the answers are right. Yes, it is. All the answers and all the options are correct. And to be very fair, my friends, these kind of questions are tricky questions. Microsoft has pack up these kind of questions to always take you off guard. And the validation comes from this documentation. Let me reach to the correct section. Let me reach out to this section here. So here you can see that we have lot of actions given here. You can see that here that you can back up the virtual machines that have been shut down or are offline. So these are also supported. Similarly, you have many other options that are valid, but I have not included in the question. But of course, you can read them out. Also, you can understand what are the operating systems that are supported by this functionality. You can see that we have Windows 11, we have Windows 10, Server 2022, 19, 16, and not just Windows. We also have Linux based backup as well. So here you can see all the variations of the Linux that are supported by Azure Backup. So as you can see, Azure Backup is a wonderful functionality to schedule a backup for all your virtual machines to the recovery services vault. So friends, I'm sure that you like the questions today. And in case you want to take your understanding and preparations to the next level, please do not miss to watch the previous parts. There are loads of important concepts and very important questions that I've covered in previous parts. And do not forget to check the description box and the pinned comment for more Azure resources. And of course, you can join our membership community. Click the join button on the YouTube. And once you have joined to the community membership, you will get loads of other learning materials. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.